as I sit here today, I can't tell you how many women may be going through painful sex around or after menopause. It's not even considered a medical concern. It's even worse around menopause. Hi guys, I'm Dr. Sylvia, a consultant in general practice. Welcome to this video. I've recently launched a new channel called Ask Away Health Tips. It's dedicated to short clips of women's health information, about a minute or less, which you can catch on the go. And I'd really love you to go over and support me on that channel. If you enjoy my detailed breakdowns, they will still continue on this channel. Don't worry. But sometimes you also want a short burst of health information. So if that is you, please head over to that channel after you've watched this video and subscribe with that said let's begin our look at painful sex post menopause guys this is a rather long video as you can see but it's because i've set some background and i'm going to talk about some of the causes before i go into treatment so you're welcome to look at the timestamps and zoom ahead to the area that particularly interests you but i really recommend watching the entire video because i'm sure it will be of value to you so many women assume that painful sex is a normal part of aging and that there is no treatment so they don't really bring up the subject but it's an important subject to discuss because many of us are living much much longer lives than women 50 70 years ago and so we'll either begin or continue in relationships after the menopause menopause is not something that's reserved for an elderly auntie or sister somewhere it's happening to you or a woman near you and women in their 40s are experiencing perimenopause and menopausal symptoms like hot sweats and flushing and yes painful sex could also be part of the mix so in this video i want to demystify the whole subject of painful sex around or after the menopause especially being able to talk about about it. My intention is that you understand why it happens, stop blaming yourself or just accepting it as the status quo. And thirdly, and I think most important, lose any embarrassment or shame to talk about it, particularly with a healthcare provider, because there are treatments out there that can make a difference for you. Menopause means when periods stop happening, and usually we diagnose it after you have not had a period for 12 consecutive months. And it usually happens to women in our late 40s to early 50s. Now, you might be jumping for joy at the idea of not having periods. So no longer having to wear sanitary towels or sanitary products for six days every month. No painful cramps or PMS and all the other things associated with that. But the price we pay for this is, of course, we can no longer have babies. Plus, you may be hit with a gamut of all manner of symptoms that you were not expecting around menopause. I need to say that many women do not have menopausal symptoms. But if you do, then I hope this video helps you to get to a better place in your menopause journey. As I sit here today, I can't tell you how many women may be going through painful sex around or after menopause. It's underreported. Many women do not find it comfortable discussing sex, even with our doctor. And this seems this situation is a lot worse if it's a busy clinic, the doctor seems to be in a hurry for menopausal lady or older ladies, if the doctor is a lot younger than they are, or they don't have a previous doctor-patient relationship. The culture of the individual, there are many reasons. So we don't know the actual numbers, but menopausal or postmenopausal sex is an essential part of your sexual function and well-being. As most women get into the age of menopause, it's an age where many women are a lot more confident, they finish raising families, they are leaders in their own profession. There is less personal responsibility with raising small children. And it might be a time to refresh an old relationship or even begin new relationships. The funny thing is that even younger women do not complain about sexual pain. So it's as if it's not even considered a medical concern is even worse around menopause. I need to say that we doctors need to do a lot more and a lot better in terms of asking women or being proactive to engage with women, especially around their menopause, about their sexual health. And I hope this is something that we can um, introduce or do better when it comes to well women consultations in that area. Okay, so now we've got a bit of background. Let's look at what causes painful sex, especially around menopause. There are several reasons, but before I go into specifics, I'm referring to having painful penetrative vaginal sex sex with a penis or using a sexual toy or device and this is also known medically as dyspareunia there are three types of dyspareunia it may be only experiencing pain at the entrance of the vagina the second type is experiencing pain only with deep penetration while the third type is where there is pain throughout both on at the entrance and on deep penetration to the vagina so in this video we're going to be talking a lot about the vulva and vagina and i just want to be sure that we understand each other so yes my dear do you know your lady bits please don't be embarrassed about this Many women are not familiar with either the structure of the genitals or the names of specific parts. So if this is you, please use the link in the description box to download my free Know Your Lady Bits graphic guide. Now, what is this and why should you download it? Well, you can use this guide as well as a hand mirror to look at your vulva or intimate parts and learn what different parts are called. This would help because when you want to complain about certain symptoms to your doctor, you know what you're referring to. You can describe the pain.
pain in the specific area that your doctor will understand what you mean. This is important because if you develop any symptoms, you know where the symptom is located and you're more confident to describe the location and what symptom you're, you're, you're experiencing to your doctor. Please note, it does not and is not intended to replace a physical examination with your doctor, but it is good to be armed with information contribute towards your care. Okay, let's look at the causes of dyspareunia. Important to identify them because that can drive the particular treatment. For the purpose of this video, so that we can just keep track of them, I've put them into nine major categories and they cover hormones, skin, musculoskeletal problems, infections, the structure of your genital area or pelvic area associated with cancer, non-medical trauma in which I mean by which I mean caused by sexual or non-sexual trauma, iatrogenic and neurological or nerve related. <laughs> I can see you're looking tired already but don't worry it's just to understand that there are different causes and none of them is you and you'll understand better as you go through the video. So let's begin with the first one which is hormonal. The most common cause of painful sex around or after the menopause is what is known as the genital urinary syndrome of menopause. And this is having vaginal or vulval thinning is also known as vulval atrophy and it just means thinning of the tissues of the vulva or the walls of the vagina it's caused by lower estrogen levels that happen as women get into the menopause and because of this there's an increased risk of chronic vaginal infections and urinary problems some women can experience vulval or vaginal thinning without the other symptoms within the syndrome so hormone fluctuations or changes that occur naturally or because of drugs that you might be taking can lead to pain in the vulva or in the area around the entrance to the vagina that is also known as the vestibule. Next, let's look at skin-related causes of painful sex around menopause. Two conditions that quickly come to mind are lichen sclerosis and lichen planus. I'll also mention two terms here, vulvodynia and vestibulodynia. Vulvodynia is when there is pain in the vulva and there is no cause that we know. And the other term, vestibulodynia, is what doctors use to describe a type of pain of the vulva that happens particularly near the entrance to the vagina, that is the vestibule. The third cause of dyspareunia around menopause is musculoskeletal and this can happen if you have a very tense pelvic floor. Remember your pelvic floor is that sheet of muscle that is holding up your pelvic organs. If you have bladder incontinence, that's a condition where you leak urine when you cough or sneeze, that can be as a result of a weak pelvic floor. In this case, if the muscles are stiff or tight, that can cause pain during sex. Another cause is a condition known as vaginismus that you might have heard about and this is involuntary tightening of the vaginal muscle during sex when the partner attempts penetration. It could also happen during a guy gynecological pelvic examination. Next, if you have hip arthritis or other causes of hip pain or general muscle pain in that area, that can lead to experiencing painful sex. Let's go on to the next cause which is having an infection and examples are sexually transmitted infections or pelvic inflammatory disease but there are other types of infection that can happen within the pelvic or the genital area. So we're talking about infections of the womb, the vulva, or vagina and the bladder. This can contribute to experiencing pain in women around the menopause. Now let's look at structure. What we mean by this is that something affects affecting the normal anatomy of the genital area or even the pelvis can contribute to pain during sex. Examples are if you have a large pelvic mass, for example, fibroids or ovarian cysts. It could even be related to having pelvic adhesions from internal scars or fibrous tissues that develop from surgery that you had years ago. Another cause is if the abnormalities of the vulva or vaginal structure right from birth. We've been talking about causes related to the vulva, the pelvis and so on, but abnormal structure of other organs close by like the the bowels could also affect painful sex. For example, there's a condition known as diverticular disease where within the bowel there are little sacs or pouches that become inflamed. Sometimes this could involve the rectum and because of the location contribute towards painful sex. You know we talked about a tight pelvic floor. On the other hand, if you have a prolapse, which is where there is a weakness of the pelvic floor and some of the pelvic organs are bulging down, some may fall outside the vagina that can contribute to painful sex. Chronic constipation, and I'm not joking, can also contribute to painful sex around menopause. Next, let's talk about cancer. First, there is vein. Vein is vulval intraepithelial neoplasm. It means that abnormal cells develop in the top layer of the vulva. It is not the same as vulval cancer, but we monitor it seriously because it could develop into cancer after many years. Of course, vulval cancer itself and cancers of other organs within the pelvic area can contribute to experiencing painful sex. So now let's look at non-medical causes. And by this, I'm referring to sexual trauma, where a woman will be unable to uh, experience penetrative sex because of the PTSD or trauma from a previous experience. It might also affect gynecological examination and of course harmful practice like female genital mutilation where a young girl's 
genitals are cut for cultural reasons is also included in this category and one of its complications of course is painful sex which can extend beyond menopause next is something known as iatrogenic and this is when a health condition is accidentally caused or created by a medical treatment or a medical professional so painful sex around the menopause can develop as a result of cancer treatments like radiotherapy or chemotherapy it may also develop following pelvic surgery for example a hysterectomy or it may not even be a hysterectomy it may be non-hysterectomy surgery like removing fibroids or treatment for endometriosis where scars that develop can lead to having painful sex after recovery from surgery next we have neurologic and this is nerve related some people may experience very sensitive nerves around their vulval and vaginal area on the other hand the nerves may be irritated inflamed or even damaged leading to painful sex another nerve related cause is shingles yes because it affects the nerves chronic pain and painful sex after around the menopause could develop as a complication of having shingles so if you look broadly you can see that there's a wide range of different possible reasons a woman could have dyspareunia for a woman who is experiencing deep dyspareunia which is pain on deep penetration it could be because of gynecological or even non-gynecological conditions or problems with the pelvic floor for somebody who is having superficial dyspareunia which is where the pain is at the entrance of the vagina this could be as a result of skin problems hormone deficiencies or vaginismus which we described earlier so let's look at treatment 